Well, welcome back to another one of our video blogs. Uh, today, we're going to be talking a little bit about modern concert posters. Um, we've got two mega sales happening right now, the second of which focuses largely on these posters. Um, so we're going to show you some cool pieces and talk a little bit about artists and, and what the importance of these pieces are. Do you want to talk a little bit about what we've done with our mega sale and why it's a little bit different? Absolutely. Uh, the the mega sale, which was started as a sale to sell everything that is not third party certified, uh, because we wanted to keep all of that in its own pile. The mega sale has grown in proportion over the years to the point where it was becoming unwieldy. And with this emerging or this existing market of modern screen prints becoming so dominant in the conversation, we are splitting off this material because we believe that it's two different markets. I mean, fans of ours will still cross over between both sessions. Uh, it, you know, just like anything, this is this auction is an evolution, and we're trying to bring people the best material and the best presentation as possible. And this is the recent effort uh, in in that direction. Sure. Yeah. So, and so again, this modern uh screen print market uh, that we'll call it is has evolved to a greater proportion than the vintage collectors market mainly because practically every big show now has merch tables that sell this stuff and there's a whole slew of wonderful young artists that are you know making a big splash and and we're today we're going to talk about the first generation before this became uh, it's such a big thing. And it and it started uh, with this book, The Art of Modern Rock, which was chapter two or book two, volume two of, uh, you know, The Art of Rock that got the whole vintage thing going as far as collectors go. And this was done by Paul Groshkin and Dennis King. And it it is a, a bookmark. And, and everything in this book can be certified by cgc and you know the the issue is is though that their encapsulation is not uh large enough for some of these posters some of them right. are very big in format and mm -hmm. also most of them are in pretty much top shape this was yeah material that was not hung for advertising so it remains in reasonably pristine um condition so really the chase is all about finding the piece and it all comes down to artist and band much like the 1960s posters sure yeah um and where did this all kind of start like around like in the early 90s late 80s it was uh, well i mean it started with frank kozik in right. austin in the early 80s he really yeah. was he, he, he read the book, uh, you know, um, uh, Debbie from La Magerie found him and they started doing a bunch of work and he became really the the premier artist and he kicked off this, you know, it, it's art. These are prints, not right. so much advertising, but yeah. Incredible. Yeah, from what I know, he sort of got his start making uh, like punk flyers for the underground scene in Austin, Texas in the late 80s. And then he was, uh, you know, given the resources to start screen printing. And that's kind of where all of this came from. Um, and unfortunately, he recently passed a couple of weeks ago. And we're lucky enough to have a bunch of his posters in the current sale, um, a few of which we can show right now correct absolutely yeah well, we've we've always had a representation of this material and his material the there are some real bangers there I, we've <laughs> sold the neil young poster for, yeah. for good money and then there's that that nine inch nails poster which is like a record setting yeah. poster um the, yeah the green, yeah so this is he's got some really important posters and he's a really he was a really important artist so yeah so let's um there is a bunch of lots in our sale and let's just start with uh you know oh man Eddie Page man <laughs> this is like this is this is you know uh Frank's subject matter is 
is pushing everything all the time. But if, but if Betty Page is a cult figure, it's really yeah. American pop culture that he that he digs in on. It just he, yeah. his take on it is um, you know irreverent, which is wonderful. Sure. I mean, he was inspired by Art Crumb and Ed Roth and uh, yeah, all all, all of our heroes. Yes. yes. Um, so, yeah, that's so, a great but, poster. It's oh, beautiful. This is, this is crazy. This is a great piece. This is, you know, if you want to start your Cozy collection, this is a, a yeah. perfect place. But we also have a super scarce, rare, like, uh, piece that I've never seen before, at least never sold before. And it is a bright, <laughs> beautiful, day glow, uh, Manson, um, yeah. you know, wallpaper. It was used as wallpaper. Yes, for an exhibition. exhibition. Yeah, and I think there were there are multiple printings. This is the first, um, and this is kind of terrifying. I love it. Um, an interesting choice for anyone's wall. This is uh, a heavy piece. This it's is very, uh, very rare. Very, very cool. Yeah, I mean, he uh, takes the Warhol thing a step further, a little right. bit. Very <laughs> subversive and. Uh, you know, it looks like it's in great shape too. It's very colorful. Um, yeah, that's that's why. Yeah, and, and 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 you know, regardless of his notoriety, I mean, you know, in the history of nineteen sixties counterculture, whatever, this was a he was a a big figure. I mean, a yeah. horrible <laughs> figure, but a big figure. And yeah, absolutely. You, you know, I mean, the story's fascinating with him really wanting to, you know, be a musician. And um, you know, the, it's we don't have time for all that now. But right. um, it's a uh, this this is a heavy piece. This is this I expect to be the lead piece in the auction. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely check that one out. Uh, and there's we have way more than we can show right now. I mean, there's a lot more classic Kozik pieces. Um, we have a couple of Red Hot Chili Peppers posters, another Butthole Surfers poster. Um, there's tons and we don't get them that often. So it's it's really cool that we have. Well, this the, the, they're, they're actually coming in now. I'm getting calls for consignments. People want to sell the Kozik stuff. So it will be coming into this auction yeah. in the coming months. So keep your eyes peeled. But uh, yeah, as we continued down the road of this thing that happened, what, in the 80s, and then it caught wind in the 90s, and now in the craze of uh, screen posters is a total different level, and there are superstars. And one of the, yes. one of the superstars is Emic, who is, uh, yeah. you know, his stuff sells out on release, but we have a really interesting- Yeah! Harley Davidson. And this poster has come up before, but this is die cut. I don't want to yes. handle it because it's too fragile, but this is a die cut poster. This yes. is the variant. So if they're, you know, Emic fans, uh, motorcycle fans, it's, this is, this is a super scarce and. And, like, you know, and it has, you know, it's for a, a, sh a there's music advertised also, so it's got all the things. Yeah, Eric Burden and the Animals. Uh, what uh, in two thousand three? It's two thousand three, so it's it was it's twenty years old already. Um, which is you know the interesting thing about what we call you know the the modern poster movement is it's it's already been going on for thirty plus yeah, years. Yeah, the, the <laughs> when I started collecting the sixties posters, it was less than twenty years from their yeah. original printing. So it's really it's very difficult for me to contextualize the time of uh, of something that I lived through because yeah it gets all warped especially as as we age anyhow um right. but this is you know another this is it's find it somewhere else I, I, yeah. I haven't seen these offered die cut emic harley it's uh it's all there man it's like this is this is a banging piece yeah it's it's one of the coolest posters and so that and not and here's something more representative of uh Amex, uh, yeah current more style standard of, Amex piece there. yeah and this is you know just what three eleven <laughs> imaginative this is uh, what lot is this it is uh, lot what, what, what do you know of the band three eleven do they have a big following I know not much but they're a bit of a cult band 
Um, and you know what's what's one of the cool things about Emic that I've heard is that he likes to listen to the band's music and then go to bed and then wakes up and tries to like create artwork based on you know the music and the dreaming or whatever. Uh, um, it's very cool. <laughs> I, I I like I like his stuff. Uh, he did a couple of um, parody pieces for Ween uh, yes. based on the '60s posters, which yeah I love. They're ridiculous and 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 you love Ween. Ween's um, all, yeah, he's in there absolutely. So yeah, we 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 both have fans here, and um, so I guess I mean, that would lead yeah. the, the next, you know, the superstar of of the modern uh, print thing is 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 Chuck Sperry, and um, we have a couple of his pieces, but this this piece I personally like when he does portraits uh you know, the muses are great but to see a portrait of the artist that's a place yeah. where I like to and and Steve Winwood I mean one of yeah. the, the most wonderful musicians that came out of the whole uh, 60s Brit scene I mean uh, 14 years old in the Spencer Davis group, yeah yeah and yeah traffic and blind faith and he couldn't play and sing like a bird yeah this and that's from uh 2012 so that's already more than a decade old as well and it looks stunning it's in great condition it's nice and shiny um yeah and has this i don't think this one's ever come up has it in our auction in, no uh again i've tried to collect these i have a few yeah. of them uh i think he did uh joan jet maybe yeah the the jerry i have one of those and oh uh, yeah there's you know, a, a number of jerry portraits but you know the thing about Chuck is is just what an amazing printer he is. He's taken yeah. printmaking to an incredible level. Just yeah, to, no one else does that exact same thing with the you know the the shiny posters. Um, they look really the, cool. Like the closer you get to yes, and they're big and beautiful. They are again collected hard. The thing with a lot of these prints is the it's starting to build and come out in auction and we're starting to get real market understanding of it but a lot of this is traded in private groups on yeah. social media and there's raffles and all these things going on and that's this whole it's this whole different market bringing it into the auction and getting real auction results i think is good for collectors of this sure, uh, yeah. you know, as you know we're we're planning a fish auction and and getting getting people to let go of that material is really tough. That's all traded within these private groups too. So uh, part of what we attempt to do here is bring transparency to yeah. the market through auction sales. Uh, obviously mm -hmm. there's always bubbles and, and whatnot, and, but the, the picture is good for this material. And also I believe that people that collect this, when they find vintage concert posters, it's a natural crossover. I mean, it happens the other way too. Uh, 60s poster collectors have started collecting this material hard. So it's it's just the it's it's the other side of the coin. And we, that's why we are segmenting this product because we think there's a whole market in it that needs its own spotlight. And Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna continue to tinker with trying to bring more focused offerings to our customer base because we have a lot of consignments we have a lot coming in we have a lot of auctions so we want to make them more uh focused and interesting there will still be the whole gamut of material that we offer it'll just be broken into different closing dates so uh you know i'd love to hear from people comments questions yeah. uh feedback it's all very helpful yeah yeah uh, and let us know what else you'd like us to talk about also, because we're happy to, to make videos about almost any kind of poster. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, like the video. Um, yeah, thanks for checking it out. Thank you. Take and care. And we'll, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.